Hey everyone, I know it's been a long time since I've done a grown ass woman, grown ass women? Is it woman or women? It's for all of us, so it's for women. It's been a long time since I've done a grown ass women or a GAW video. And although this is technically a GAW video, because I'll put it in that playlist, this applies to anybody who wears foundation. Some things I don't think are as specific to age as others. And like I said in the very, very first video, the advice or the tips or the opinions really that I'm sharing with you are really applicable to anyone who has an interest in makeup, whether they've been at it for a long time or they're just getting into it. Some things are geared more toward the mature skin, but for these, these are just my holy grail foundations and because I am considered a grown ass woman, then they'll go in the GOG category as well. But I just wanted to address a lot of you have been asking when are we gonna get more of those types of videos and really everything I do is geared toward that category. Um, the woman who doesn't like to go crazy with color and um, more on the conservative side is a big fan of neutrals. That's just my style. So I think it, every video I make, whether I put it under the GAW playlist or not, is really geared for the grown ass woman. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to really my favorite, all time favorite foundations, my holy grails. And there is a little variety but not a lot. So I will end with my all time holy grail, most favorite foundation I've ever used and um, walk you through a few other options. So I'm gonna start with what I have on my face right now. This is my favorite. I'm gonna say it's a foundation even though it's not because I feel like it has foundation like coverage. This is my favorite foundation for when I'm gonna be outside all day, when I'm gonna be in the sun, when I'm in, I know I'm gonna get sweaty, um, when I want something I can just slap on and go, and that is the It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream. Uh, today I'm wearing the shade Light. It depends on how much self-tanner I have on. I go between fair to medium. And it has wonderful coverage, great staying power, SPF 50. It has a, comes in a pump. I love the packaging. It's very portable. It's easy to bring around. You can use it with your fingers. You can apply it with a brush. Either way, it's the only thing that it doesn't work well for is if you put moisturizer on first, it will slide right off your face. So do not moisturize first because technically the moisturizer is included. Um, I should back up and say that I personally have very dry skin, so I cannot tell you what would work well for oily skin. Um, if you have oily skin, please feel free to talk amongst yourselves in the comments and share your experience with any of these foundations. As far as the Availability goes. You can get these at Ulta. You can get it at QVC. Um, that's pretty much the only places I have seen them. As always, I will link below where you can pick it up. And I will link to my specific shade also. Um, so if you click on the link, it'll not only take you to where to pick it up, but it'll also pop up in the shade that I wear. Now for, um, I'd say drugstore foundations. There are three. Why am I holding up 10 fingers? There are three. <laughs> Two are from the same brand and one is a UK brand that you can order online here in the United States. So I'll start with the UK brand and that is an oldie but a goodie. It's the Bourjois, I can never say that right, Bourjois, Bourjois, it's this. It's the healthy mix and uh, Bourjois, I don't know why, why? It's the healthy mix, not the healthy mix serum but just the I want to say good old, but they have reformulated it. I still like it, even with the new reformulation. I do prefer the old version, but that is no longer available. Um, I go between a 51 and a 52 in this shade. It has a lovely smell. The pa it owns, this is the parent company of Chanel, so if you're a huge fan of Chanel foundations, you're going to like this, except you're going to like the price point a lot better. It's much less expensive. I know in years past, I've, I've gotten it from ASOS and a couple other um, places online. In the UK, you can get it at pretty much any high street pharmacy type, you know, boots, super drug. It's a satiny kind of finish, I would say, a little bit of a glow, and it lasts a pretty long time on me as well. I'm a huge fan. Now, as far as American brands go, same brand, two different foundations. First one is CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1. This is definitely more of a matte finish, not completely matte, but more matte than satin finish. It's a full coverage, medium to full coverage. It is a lot heavier on the skin than the two that I've talked about so far. I like that it comes in a pump. I think that's, the, the last two have also had pumps. There's a lot of shade ranges. Um, there are some new incarnations of this that I've tried. I do not like the new version. This 
the original is still the best. I've worn so many shades in this, I couldn't even tell you what my regular shade is. My summer shade is shade A20, which is really sad because it's definitely on the light side. It's creamy natural. It is a super long lasting foundation and has SPF 20. I could not tell you if there's flashback with this because I'm so white, I'm already white, so I, you can't flashback any whiter than I already am. Um, but this is a go-to, especially, I reach for this more in the um, cooler months though. I'm not sure why, but I do. Now one that I wear year round and have uh, bought over and over and over again is the CoverGirl Plus Olay Facelift Effect. This is my third one of this shade. This is light medium, this is my summer shade. I will come right out and say I'm not a fan of the packaging. Packaging is a big old pain in the you-know-what. Um, you have to either dig your finger in or I have found the best way to use this is I use a damp beauty blender and kind of just dip it right in there. I know it's probably not hygienic. It's my own germs. It's okay. And um, dab it all over my face. It has a dewy, definite satin finish. It's very lightweight in coverage. You can build it up. Uh, not lightweight in coverage. Lightweight in feel, but a good coverage. You can build it up. Um, on me, this lasts forever. I think it photographs beautifully. I've always been complimented when I wear this. Um, it's expensive for a drugstore, but it's it's great. I wish there had been some larger, there was a larger shade range in this range. I, I don't think there are enough deep skin tone colors, but um, overall, I can't say that it made my face feel lifted or firmed, but the coverage, the longevity, and the finish are beautiful, and I highly, highly recommend this. Moving on to my favorite lightweight foundation, that is the coverage is a little less and the feel, it feels like you're wearing nothing. It's fairly new and to me and it's the Urban Decay Naked Skin. Again, lovely pump, love the pumps. And um, the color range is amazing. If you can't find a shade, you're not looking too hard because they have a shade for everybody. It is very, it's almost like you are putting water on your face. It's very lightweight in texture. But again, you can easily build this up and give the coverage that you're looking for. But this is more, this the drawback is it does not last as long on my face as the other ones do. I'm more of a long wear. I don't have time. I guess this is a grown ass woman thing. I put my makeup on in the morning. I don't have time to fuss with it till I go to bed and take it off. I don't need touch ups and reapplying, no. So I only reach for this if it's only a few hours that I know I need to look good and then it doesn't matter <laughs> the rest of the day. Or I'm running errands and I just want something that's not so glam and made up. The other drawback is it doesn't smell very good at all. It has a very chemical scent to it. I don't know what's in here. Many things. But it's one of those that you have to shake up. There's a little rattle thing in there so it is very lightweight. Okay, we're getting closer to my holy grail. Last three are all also high-end. Um, this one has not gotten a lot of press um, or mentions on YouTube lately. It used to be everybody's favorite. There, again, is a new form uh, formulation I haven't tried, but I still love the NARS Sheer Glow. This is the shade Gobi, which is kind of a fall shade. I can go all the way down to Mont Blanc in this, or Deauville, depending on where I am. I'm all over the place in the shade range. But um, I love, again, it's that satin with a bit of a glow finish. That is my, I'm very consistent in the, in the finish that I like. It does not come with a pump. It might now, I don't know, but it's annoying. You can buy a pump through MAC that fits on here. I think NARS sells one as well, but I wish they would just put the freaking pump on because once you put, take this off, put the pump on, you can't get the cap back on. So that's, that. you know, it's annoying, but it's not a reason not to buy this. It stays all day. It photographs beautifully. There's a reason why brides love this. It's, they have a great shade range. Um, it, it, I think this is especially geared for um, women of a certain age because it just it's, it's not too heavy but it gives your face this beautiful glow and I have noticed as we age we get a little drier and less glowy so Narsher Glow love you okay this is my almost favorite and it is the Makeup Forever HD again pump and I like that you can see actually yeah you can see as the as the foundation is getting low this is my summer shade N118 and it to me applies best with a brush like a stip not a stippling brush but a kabuki type brush or the beauty blender i don't like using my fingers on any with any of these except the cover girl and the it cosmetics um little less satin finish 
it just sort of skin finish. It's just, it's not matte, it's not dewy, it's there. They do make a matte velvet plus that's definitely better for oily skin. This photographs really well. Obviously it's Makeup Forever HD for a reason. And again, they have reformulated it. Um, and I have not had a chance to try the new formulation. I've heard good things, but I just bought this bottle right before the new one came out. So it's gonna be a while before I get my hands on the new formulation. Um, what can I tell you else about this? It lasts a really long time. I've worn this on camera, like real cameras, like in front of a TV camera, not this one. And I think it looks great. It is a very natural finish, so you're not gonna look overly made up or cakey, but you can definitely build it up to give yourself more coverage in the areas that you would like. And I don't think, don't smell anything, so that's good. Now on to my holy grail. And of course, it is the most expensive, I apologize. It is the Guerlain Lingerie de Peau, um, lingerie for your skin, and it is a whopping $63 consistently, whether you get it at Nordstrom, Neiman Marcus, Saks, Sephora. It's, um, it's expensive. This is my second bottle. I'm in the shade 02 Beige Claire. They have come out with some new shades since I bought this the first time. Come winter, I will probably pick a new color. But, um, I, I can't, this is my most complimented foundation. This is the one I get the most compliments for in person and here on YouTube. It is a satin finish with a beautiful glow. It applies seamlessly. It lasts from sun up to sundown and way past. Um, the shade range isn't great and because it's only carried in you know, the higher end stores, and not every store always, like my Nordstrom carries this online, but there's not a Guerlain counter in the store. Sephora carries it, but not in store where I live. So, you know, it's a pretty big commitment to buy this online and guess at your shade. Um, so I would, I would definitely recommend buying from somewhere like Nordstrom. That has a very generous uh, return policy. But um, once you get past the price and the difficulty of buying it, there is nothing better than, well, the one thing better is they make a long wear version, Tenu, Tenu de, de Po, and that's their long wear, and that's what I wore to Shane's Bar Mitzvah, and it was amazing. But I don't want to wear long wear every day. I want my skin to kind of breathe. So this is my, I will admit, I wear this pretty much every day if I can, um, and uh, except for like days like today when I know I'm going to be out sitting on a football bleacher in the sun. It's just beautiful. It, may, it will make you look flawless, and it's not a heavy foundation that you know, will sit on your face and you can see it. It's, but it gives good coverage. This is not for those of you that want like a natural, this is not, you're not gonna look natural. Um, you're gonna look like you are flawless and that's not natural. I don't know what else to say about this. Also has a pump. Has an, none of these have ever made me break out. I wouldn't recommend them if they did. All kinds of things make me break out, but not, not any of these. I don't know what else to tell you. These were my favorites. I have worn some of these for, most of them for years and years and years. A few, one, one is new-ish to me. Let me know what your experiences have been with these or what you would recommend. Uh, there are reasons why, let's see, I have not tried the Armani Luminous Silk. I have not tried the Clarence Extra Comfort. Those are on my radar. I do not like Revlon Color Stay. I've tried the old and the new. I don't like it anymore. The Estee Lauder Double Wear, to me, started breaking me out and made, I didn't like the finish. I know they've reformulated that as well and I haven't tried that, but I, y'all have asked why I don't wear that anymore. I felt like it made me look very mask-like, so that is no longer a fan. I'm no longer a fan. Chanel makes me break out. They put too much fragrance in their foundations. What else do I not use? Um, Maybelline has, I love their concealers, but their foundations have never looked right on me. L'Oreal makes me break out. So I think I've covered a lot of the stuff. If you have any questions about these or any brands I haven't mentioned, please feel free to ask. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to another Marnie and Michael Monday. So a while back, I think it might be four years ago at least, I'm not sure, I'll link it below. I made a video